Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico. And if you're new to the channel, we ask one question here, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? Now, a lot of people, young and old, they think the old music is better. I get reminded of this all the time. And uh, But, you know, I'm not so sure. And today, we're going to hit up Cat Power. You saw that by the thumbnail. So this is, you know, is this 21st century music? All right. So because it's a recreation of the 1966 album, Bob Dylan at the Royal Albert Hall. But she's done Dylan before, and she does it in her own unique fashion with her unique phrasing. So I'm anxious to hear it. She's only got four of the songs on uh, her official website. So I've picked two of them. She Belongs to Me, which is from the first disc, which is the acoustic set, and then Ballad of a Thin Man uh, from the electric set. So she recreates that. So she recorded, this is the, um, the Dylan, which was bootlegged for a long time. And it was called uh, Live at the Royal Albert Hall, but it was actually recorded at Manchester Free Trade Hall. Bootleggers made mistakes all the time. So uh, anyway, she did this recreation at the Royal Albert Hall. So it's not in Manchester, it's in London. But this is uh, the 1998 reissue. Uh, it's got a pretty cool picture of Dylan here in the shades. See if you can see that. There we go. Yeah. So I got this. This is a record club issue. You remember record clubs? I guess I, I guess I bought this from the BMG Record Club. But let's go ahead and jump into this. Um, I'm very familiar with Dylan, as uh, you might have guessed. Uh, but just to be clear, if you say, "Oh, here's a boomer doing Dylan or whatever," in 1966, I was riding my bike. I mean, I was just a little kid. So this is, um, you know, going back, going back and discovering this. This was this was not my era. This was uh, a, a different era. I was down into pop music or rock music uh, in 1966. I was too busy playing. So anyway, let's jump into this. She belongs to me. And I've got it on mute. So let me pause the video. Hang on. Okay, we're back. You know, I muted it because I didn't want to hear any of it. I made a little playlist of these two songs so we could go right from one to the other. And I put it on mute and forgot to unmute it. So here we go again. Thanks for waiting. I like that you can hear the audience. She's got everything she needs She's an artist, she don't look back She's got everything she needs She's an artist, she don't look back She can take the dark out of the night time And paint the day time black You will start at standing proud to steal her anything she sees. You will start out standing proud to steal her anything she sees. But you will wind up peeking through a keyhole down upon your knee. She never stumbles, she's got no place to fall She never stumbles, she's got no place to fall She's nobody's child, the law can't touch her at all She 
wears an Egyptian ring It sparkles before she speaks She wears an Egyptian ring It sparkles before she speaks She's a hypnotist collector You are a walking antique Harmonica, cool <laughs> Sunday, salute her when her birthday comes. Bow down to her on Sunday, salute her when her birthday comes. Halloween by her a trumpet, and for Christmas by her a drum. song a little more weight. So now it ballad of a thin man. Electric, I presume. Jesus. Your 
which is just what the song needs. That biting, a little bit of sarcasm. Oh, excellent. And the recording is just fantastic. But she sang this song different than the other one. And her S's were, she was really holding those S's out and just really beautiful phrasing. But she did these little slides during um, uh, the parts of the song where the lyrics were just really biting and sarcastic and she would do these uh, 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 ellipses i'm not sure what you call them just slides with her voice and yeah, it was really cool and such great recording and that organ was just perfect yeah a plus here i really enjoy this um you know so some i was reading some of the critics and some people uh they didn't exactly fault it. They just felt that the album was a little too faithful. But I don't hear it that way. I hear it. At, well, first of all, it's from a feminine point of view. So that that's different right there. And then her phrasing is different. And her phrasing is, is much more modern. Yeah, I love it. Uh, and most artists right now are mining the 80s, right? Doing a lot of synth pop and, and dance beats. And Chan Marshall... Uh, I give you credit for 
mining a different decade, in this case, the mid 60s. So very cool. Yeah, I definitely would uh, listen to this whole album. Uh, what a pleasure. Of course, the songs are just great uh, because Dylan was such a great wordsmith. So yeah, fantastic. I uh, this This exceeded my expectations. I thought it would be good. Some people have given it three and a half out of five stars. By the way, when she said Jesus right there at the beginning, I had read, they, they, they cut it right in the middle, but in the uh, 66 concert here, when he goes electric, someone yelled out, Judas! And, uh, of course, who was betrayed, Jesus. And so someone here, just to recreate, recreate it faithfully, yells out, Judas! And she replies back, Jesus! And they cut it right there at the beginning of the song. So, yeah, awesome. Uh, I heard that the last song, Like a Rolling Stone, is really well done, too. Uncut, the British magazine, just raved about her version of that. Uh, that was one of the four songs, but I went with Ballad of a Thin Man. So if you like what we're doing, uh, Senior, uh, defending the 21st century and celebrating the good music of today, hit that like or subscribe button. It really does make a difference. And as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen día.